Hi, my name is Wes Stang, and I work at the United States Embassy in Cyprus. We're talking about Earth Day and about how all of us have a responsibility to help protect the places where we live, keeping our water clean, our air clean, and all the animals that we get to enjoy here in Cyprus safe. To do that, we're going to be reading several books all about what all of us can do to help protect our environment. Today, I am going to be reading The Planet in a Pickle Jar by Martin Stanov. Let's read it together. The Planet in a Pickle Jar by Martin Stanov. Our grandma lived a lonely and quiet life. She saved up all her words and smiles for when we came to visit. She cooked boring meals. And told the longest stories. Her house was as dull and ordinary as she was. All she did was shop. Knit. And make jars of pickles. She never did anything fun. One evening, Grandma wanted to tell us something important. So we tried to look interested. Children, our world is very fragile. If we don't do anything to preserve it, it will slowly fade away until all that is left is concrete, smoke, and dust. For once, we listened. That night, we gazed at the world outside, thinking about Grandma's words. Suddenly, a star fell from the sky and vanished. Were things already starting to fade away? We rushed to ask Grandma, only to find she had vanished too. We searched high and low, 
but all we could find was, ah, a cheetah! <laughs> Searching for a place to hide, we discovered a mysterious door leading down some stairs we had never seen before. We hurried inside, hoping they would lead us to Grandma. Reaching the bottom, we couldn't believe our eyes. Stretching out for miles and miles were hundreds and hundreds of pickle jars. History, languages, nature, memories, smells, feelings, and much, much more were preserved within these magical jars. Suddenly, we heard something at the end of the corridor. After what felt like a lifetime, we emerged into the most incredible room. It was a huge sanctuary. Had our grandma built this? Maybe she wasn't so boring, after all. Help! And right now, she needed our help. At last, we spotted her. My dears, I'm so glad you found me. I got a little stuck while feeding the bats. We squeezed her close, glad that she hadn't vanished like the star and everything else in her story. I do want to keep preserving all the beautiful things on our planet for your futures, but I am afraid I am getting old now. I think it might be time I had a little help. So that's what we did. We began helping our grandma to preserve the wonders of our planet. One pickle jar at a time. Thank you for reading this book with me. When I read it, I think about all of the things in our environment and our planet that are important to me. Things like all these amazing animals, the cats, and the birds, and dogs that we get to see every day, as well as the beautiful sunrise and sunset, and the fresh air we get to enjoy here in Cyprus, and of course, the beautiful seas that surround our island. I hope you take some time to think about what's important to you about the Earth today, and think of ways that you can help protect it and preserve it for your family. Thanks for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.